Hello everyone, welcome back. I've said it countless times in previous videos and I wanna just elaborate a little bit more about the easiest way to get your ham radio license. Ham radio prep, two things in this video I wanna show you. One, the completely free app that they have. I'll show you a couple things on the app. You can use this for practice tests when you're out mobile or at home sitting on the couch watch TV. Get your ham radio license quickly using ham radio prep and two, I'm going to show you just the, the online premium courses that I keep telling you about. Use the code ERIC20. If you purchase any of the courses on Ham Radio Prep, you save 20%. But why do I keep saying this? How easy is it? I'm going to show you the videos and the stuff and the games that they have in that. But first, let's talk about the app, completely free for iOS and Android from Ham Radio Prep. Okay, let's take a look at the Ham Radio Prep app. It is available in the App Store free on iOS or Android. I'm currently using iOS because I have the screen mirroring on in my computer so you can see it. So if you type in Ham Radio Prep, you'll see it right on the top there. That's what it looks like. This is a uh, an app that is free that they offer aside from their interactive desktop premium suite. I'll show you a, gl a glimpse of that in a second. Now, this is great because you can go through this and section by section, uh, if you want a tech, a, a general, or an extra, we'll start just for a tech just to give you an idea how the app works. And there's stuff on the bottom too, uh, where to find an exam, uh, ARRL exam session locator. There's also uh, a shop where you can go right in the app here and buy, uh, you know, swag or your license call sign, you know, stuff like this, LED light call signs, all kinds of stuff is on here. We're going to focus real quick though on how this works. This is broken down to different lessons. And you can see I just started playing with it for a minute. And yes, I did miss a couple. I'm rusty. But guess what? Again, these are, I got my license in 2004. Things have changed. And things have changed since July 2022 this year. So the new question pool is already loaded in here. It downloads it as soon as you open the app. And that should be good for the next four years until they change the question pool. So we'll go first here, just as an example, lesson one. Now you can study with this on the way to work, at home. And you can use it in conjunction to really speed up your license by getting the premium online course. Okay. So I, I really, I really implore that you don't just use this app and memorize this over and over. You can do it that way, but that's not the easiest way and the fastest way. And you're just memorizing questions. You want to know what you're testing on and what does it mean to call CQ and how does a repeater actually work? That all happens in electrical principles and theories all gets shown in video form and interactive brain quizzes on the ham radio prep premium subscription. Okay. So let's show you this. When is it willful? When is willful interference to other amateur radio stations permitted? Never. You can never make in, uh, interference, you know, willfully on purpose. Can't do that. Now, if you failed it, right, you can go to explain on the bottom and they'll give you an idea as an explanation on why that is the answer. All right. Next. When the control operator is not the station licensee, who is responsible for proper operation of the station? The control operator and the station licensee. When may an amateur station transmit without identifying on the air? Um, when a transit on modulated and transmission power is below one watt on model aircraft. There you go. Because you never want to transmit on the air without identifying. You always want to identify. Which of the following can result in revocation of the station license or suspension of the operator license? Uh, let's see. Failure to inform the FCC of any changes in the station following performance. Uh, failure to provide and maintain a correct email address at the FCC. Well, that is no, not an email address. Failure to obtain failure to obtain FCC type acceptance prior to using a home built transmitter. Mm, no, you can do that. You can make your own home built transmitters. Failure to have a copy of your license available at your station. Now, I'm going to say number can result in a, hmm, let's go like this. Nope. Say I was wrong. I didn't know you needed the correct email address. Then why does half the people on, on online don't have an email that works? Which of the following frequency ranges are available for phone operation by technician class? Well, in your life, when you study for this, 10 meters is 28.3 to 28.5 for a tech. Then you have AM and FM up in the upper portion of the band, but you have to be a general for that. All right, so look, I got an 80. That's just in lesson one, okay? And um, you scored higher than the 74% required to pass. Now, let me show you something real quick. If you click on premium online course, now it takes you to 
what I've always been telling you about. You use the code ERIC20. When you sign up, you'll save 20%. All right, so we're going to log in. Hi, Eric, welcome back. I'm already signed in. Okay, now you can see just for, I haven't used it for my extra yet, but you can get tech, general, extra, balfing, basics. There's more stuff here. You can do a practice test online, but let me give you an idea of what it looks like when we go into the tech and we'll go into one of the uh, sections that has video and just show you how that works. So for video's sake, I'll switch over to the full screen desktop version. You have a dashboard on here. It tells you about your, your trends and, and the areas you need to study on. There's a lot of stuff on this website, okay? Um, we're going to go into technician class. And I'm going to show you some of the, let's see, they're chapterized again. All right, so before you get started, introduction to ham radio. And when you click on a video... Welcome to lesson five, which covers electrical principles, including current and voltage, math for electronics, Ohm's law, and the two basic types of circuits. Some students ask why basic electronics needs to be covered just to talk on the radio. Well, it's helpful if you wish to go on and do repairs or create basic circuits on your own, but it's also core to the FCC's amateur radio service mission, which includes not just people knowing how to communicate, but having a cadre of trained electronics experts. So we'll pause right here and I'll show you that. Number one, he's already described one answer to a test question in that. Okay. Then he goes through and he's going to show you, you know, stuff in here about different uh, things here with the screen, you know, the graphics on here, what these mean. Okay. And how to understand it instead of memorizing questions and answers. Okay. Because the worst thing you can do is memorize the questions. And I've, I've heard this before. And the people get on and say, oh, I'm a brand new ham. And they ask simple questions like, you know, what, what, what uh, you know, the one guy told me one time, you're speaking Japanese to me. I have no idea what simplex and all this stuff you're talking about. I'm brand new. I just studied and memorized the questions. That's not really a good way to start off the ham hobby. You know what I mean? So ham radio prep makes it easy to understand. You're not going to know how to be a ham operator or each of the radios that are out there or what you can do on those bands. That's why I hope you stay on my YouTube channel and the others on YouTube and look around and we can help you make decisions on radios and show you different things you can do on there, like sending email over RF, working the satellites with a handheld antenna and more. But once you see a video like this, right, then in that number five chapter, then they'll have a written chapter. Now you go through here and you can start um, reading things. They have things that are in blue that are bold to indicate you know, what you need to remember. They, they have a strategy on doing this, okay? And it'll give you a couple ideas. I'll show you examples again. This is not, you can see right now, I'm scrolling through. This is not just memorizing questions and answers. There's a lot of stuff on here, okay? Multiplication, uh, you know, measurement factors and stuff like this, okay? Then it'll go to, here's one, electrical principle definitions game. Make everything disappear. Let's start the game. So it's timing me, right? So let's see, match. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Um, direct current. Uh, um, oh, here, the alternating. Okay, so that's it. that's uh, AC. So we'll go like this. The basic unit of electricity is a volt. Oh, my gosh. It, oh, frequency. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. That would be hertz. And then the Henry is inductance, like micro Henry's. Flow of electrical charge. Electrical current is measured in amperage. That is current. Direct current is DC and electromotive force is voltage. Boom. Now I did that in 37 seconds trying to, you know, illustrate and understand what I was doing. But right here. Now be R. Jones 60's personal best of 37.3. Okay. There. Let's do it again. Alternating current. Direct current. Uh, one direction. Base unit impedance is resistant. No. Impedance is ohms resistance is resist inductance is oh watts electrical power and i thought inductance oh, there you go so there 23 oh now i gotta beat this guy see so you're gonna remember these things in your head then on that chapter it will give you a quiz of the electrical principles that you just studied for okay now again these are all 
July 2022 question pool. So if you're watching a YouTube video that's three years old and someone's reading out of a book, it's not the updated questions. You're not going to get guaranteed success that way. 28.4. So, you know, and then you go through these and it'll show you the answer is correct or not correct. You do a few of those questions. Then you move on to the next one. See, there's a video, there's a chapter, another game. Okay. Then when you get down here, random question generator, you have a uh, register for in-person exam, claim your free gift. Oh, you get a free gift when you get your license using ham radio prep as a study guide. So there you go. Remote license tech, uh, testing, how to interact with fellow students, a lot of stuff. You can see right now why I'm not just pushing somebody as a sponsor. This stuff works. You can use the free app to, to do these practice tests. So you come home, ideal way, you, you know, you at work or lunch or at home, go through here, go through a couple, you know, don't rush through it. Go through introduction to amateur radio. Number one, do that. Uh, read the stuff, you know, and then take a practice test. Then you could take that practice test with you on your app on your way to work or not when you're driving, but of course on a bus or a plane or somewhere and then or your day off. And then once you get that nailed out, go to lesson two and then do it that way. This will only take about a week, a week and a half from what I said. Pixie did it in three days. She got her general and her extra in three days. So what I could do for you is Eric 20 is the code discount code. Eric 20 save 20% on any course. Even the all access pass, you get everything. All access pass, you get general tech, tech general extra, balfing basics, everything. As you know, if you want to go through it at one shot, you can do it at one shot. You'll be a higher license than I am if you get an extra. Okay. I've yet to do that. So that is the ham radio prep. And you can get to this on your iPad or on your phone. You can get to this for, you know, um, from various ways if you log in. Okay. But the videos are cool. Same. So pretty cool stuff, man. Ham Radio Prep. Thanks for being a great sponsor. So that's pretty cool, right? It's pretty easy. You can get your ham radio license like Pixie in, in a matter of days. She did her technician within a week. Then she did the general and extra within three days of getting her tech from the ham fest we had in Vero Beach, which is, I think, coming up. Three days later, she used ham radio prep, got her general and her extra. The whole reason is I want it to be fun, and I keep telling everybody, you got to be a ham radio. You got to do this. Ham radio is so cool. First step is getting your license, and it makes it so much easier with ham radio prep. There's a lot of sources out there. There's videos that are on YouTube of people reading out of a book, and you follow along for an hour and a half live stream, but those are years old now. And if you're going to do that and take the cheap route, you have to know that ham radio prep constantly keeps their question pools and answers updated and their material. The July 2022 question pool just came out in July. So this is all up to date 2022. We even have the book I'm going to tell you about. There had, believe it or not, there has been people that have told me I don't like studying online. It doesn't work for me. I like book form. Well, I have the brand new book from Amazon. I'll put that video out after and show you how easy it is in the book with the large font and the pictures and how they structure their book to get your license. But I really think you should use the code Eric20, save 20%. Tell me that I'm wrong, that it's not easy to get a ham radio license using ham radio prep. I'd love to know, not that you don't want to spend money or that you can't afford it. I get that. I'm broke. I want to know why you think that doesn't work and why you think these materials are no good because they are. And if I had this years ago, so many more people would have had ham radio licenses. People are still on the fence. Make the switch. Make the jump. HamRadioPrep.com. Make it easy. Thanks for everybody for watching. Thanks to my sponsors at Ham Radio Prep. Thanks to everybody on Patreon.com slash Ham Radio Concepts. Thanks to all the podcast listeners. Podcast is all new design. It's a lot easier to listen to. Quicker 15-minute episodes, and it's just fun. So thanks for watching. More videos are on the way. 7-3. This is KJ4YZI.